So with the Summer Games, there's been a lot of attention and a lot of athletes have, have talked about cupping, which is a technique that the athletes are using in the Summer Games that they think helps improve their athletic performance. Now, actually, cupping is a very, very old uh, technique invented by the Chinese, and it has some parallelism with acupuncture. So the concept is to, and I'll show, show it to you right here, the concept is to use these cups on the skin and what, uh, they place them on specific meridians that they think will improve blood flow, uh, both uh, to the muscle and also um, to, the, to the underlying uh, tissue. Now cupping, as you can see, is what, what you do is you actually place a cup over the skin and then this, this is a newer technique where they actually um, can, can bring a vacuum in and it brings the skin upward. And you can see that, that in these three areas, the skin is actually brought up inside the cup. Now, traditionally, when the Chinese did it, they actually would put something, they would burn something on top of the skin with a cup over the top that would change the oxygen level and would cause a negative pressure and bring the skin up. So that's what cupping is. It's placing these throughout different parts of the body. And then this actually turns red and stays red for about three days. And that's why you see many of the athletes that still have the red marks on their, on their skin. And the concept is that they use it both for, for pain, they use it for um, muscle enhancement, they feel, and also some feel that it helps reduce some of the swelling afterwards. So uh, it's becoming popular. The, the problem is, scientifically, we haven't quite been able to prove that it is effective. There's been, there's one study that does show that they felt it was beneficial, but two is probably about the same as the placebo effect. 